to bring this to you, to give you these 15 minutes every single day, Monday through Thursday. But, you know, it's World Retrospective Day. However, we're looking ahead in this Monday edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Looking back on all the info you've gathered in your brain will help you out as you play for today's grand prize. That is $1,000, my friends. And when you correctly answer 10 multiple choice general trivia questions, you win your share of it. In this game, you will earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Here's how it works. You win the game today, and those bonus SB are automatically added on top of your share of that $1,000 grand prize. If you don't win the grand prize, you're going to keep accumulating all these bonus SB throughout the game. You do have to claim them at the end in order to keep them. They will go away if you just quit in anger or sadness. Stay till the end of the game. Click the button that appears on the screen, and those bonus SB are added to your account automatically like a snap of a finger. The first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to give yourself another shot at the grand prize. There are two ways to do that. One is using SB. You can use a couple SB to rejoin. It's like one SB, two SB. Or you can use a free rejoin. If you don't have any of those, just click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime the game's not happening, and you will get free rejoins by watching videos. However, this week is a second chance week. What does that mean to you newcomers? I'll tell you. That means for every live game you play all week long, you will get three free rejoins. Each time those three free rejoins are accredited to your account after the game ends, so you have it for the next game. So keep playing all week long. That's a total of 12 free rejoins that you can snag for yourself. Also, each game, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. Here are the winners from this past Thursday. Congratulations. If you see your name up there, I'm so happy for you. If you don't, keep at it. Keep playing and claiming because next time, the winner could be you. All right, you know what? The comments, they're off to reminisce a little bit. So let's get this game started with question number one. Rene Descartes' philosophy was, I think, therefore, I what? Sleep, am, or fight? I think, therefore, I what? What could it be? In his 1637 Discourse on the Method, Descartes outlines the principles of Cartesian dualism, also referred to as, as body-mind dualism, and the first principle of that is, I think, therefore I am. That's right, I think, therefore I am. 94% of you am. Moving on to question number two, because you got that one right. For the rest of you, you have the chance to rejoin. I'm going to let you do that, and I'm going to tell you, I'll remind you again later, that because you're playing this game, because you're part of Daily Trivia Live, we're going to be sending you via push notification after the game an exclusive survey opportunity. You will get 5 SB for answering questions about this very game, about Daily Trivia Live, what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see more of, and that'll help us make the game better for you. For now, let's move on to question number two, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, Q2. What kind of creature serves as the mascot for the Honey Smacks cereal? Is it a badger, a giraffe, or a frog? Honey Smacks cereal. Who's on the box? It's a creature on that box. Who better to plug a sugary puffed rice breakfast cereal in commercials than an amphibian in a baseball cap, right? For 52 years, Diggum Frog has been doing just that. He is a frog, Diggum. 73% of you getting that one right. Well done. There are no cereal badgers that I'm aware of, and if you're thinking of a famous giraffe, uh, spokes, spokes animal. You're thinking of Jeffrey the giraffe from Toys R Us, who's back. He looks different. I don't like this version of him. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm glad he's back. I wish he looked like he used to when I was a kid. Okay, let's move on to question number three now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What country is known as the land of the midnight sun? Is it Norway, United States, or England? Which of those is the land of the midnight sun? See if you get this one. Because the Earth is rotating at a tilted axis relative to the sun, several places experience an annual period where the sun simply doesn't set for them. 
Svalbard, Norway is an example of that. That's right. Norway is the answer. 93% of you getting that one right. Well done. But I do want to point out that when a small number of you uh, do not get it right, which happens from time to time, the majority of you are rejoining. Most of you doing that for free. And you're going to have free rejoin so you can keep doing that game after game after game. We have over 16,300 people in grand prize contention, over 18,500 here playing the game. And we are on to question number four now. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. American Sign Language primarily uses what body part to communicate? Is it the knees, the neck, or the hands? Which body part do you use for sign language, mostly? ASL is a beautiful language that is a full expression. You really use your entire body, but really the communication primarily it's done with your hands. You're just working yourself into it. You're, you're displaying the emotion. Pretty much everybody knew hands was the answer. Well done. Well done. I know like a little bit of sign language. I want to know more. That's, that's the language I feel like I want to learn the most of any language. I just have to take the time to sit and study. Let's move on to question number five, worth one bonus SB, if you get it right. Which movie character is famous for saying, go ahead, make my day? The Darth Vader, Dirty Harry, or Buzz Lightyear? Who said, go ahead, make my day? Are you feeling lucky, punk? All right, I, I don't mean you when I say that. I don't think you're a punk. I'm just quoting Clint Eastwood as Dirty Harry. You probably should have said that up front. Dirty Harry is the answer, of course. 94% of you getting that one right. Well done. Uh, Darth Vader never says that. I don't think he, I don't know if he ever uses the word day in any of the Star Wars films. Is that possible? Is it possible, folks? Can somebody do a fact check on that? We are halfway done this game. Moving on now to question number six. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Yo-Yo Ma is known for playing what instrument? Is it the flute, the drums, or the cello? Yo-Yo Ma. Maybe the most famous classical musician in the entire world. What instrument does he play? He's maybe the most famous classical musician in the world. Maybe you know one that's more famous. He's been at it for decades, and he has the ability to move you simply by playing his cello. Cello! That is the answer. 73% of you getting that one right. But my goodness, that means 27% of you just got eliminated. 21% going with flute. 7% going with drums. Just about a little bit under each because we have 73 who, who got it right. That's all right. This is what the rejoins are for. This is what you rejoin for. And it looks like the majority of you who got eliminated on that one coming back, well over 50%. We still have 13,700 people in grand prize contention. Only four questions to go. The next one worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here's question number seven. What toy did the NSA suspect might be spying on Americans? Is it Teddy Ruxpin, Furby, or Let's Rock Elmo? We have asked about this before in a slightly different way. You can't blame them. They can listen to what you're saying. And maybe they're hiding cameras in those eyes. So, you know what? That's just another reason I don't want a Furby in my home. Furby is the answer. 59% of you getting that one right. 41% of you eliminated the majority going with Teddy Ruxpin. You know, it would have been hard for Teddy Ruxpin to spy because he was more of a tape player. So you had to actually get the tape going. But Furby's, we had a, a Furby in the office for a while that just got dropped in people's desks. I had it in my drawer and I would hear it go off. Uh, and it was terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Over 60% of the people eliminated coming back in. Still over 11,000 in grand prize contention. Only three questions to go. Next one, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here's question number eight. A common party game involves holding a relay race where participants carry an egg using what? A spoon, a catapult, or a diaper? The relay race where you're carrying an egg using what? Yeah, if you're competitive, you walk like a weirdo trying to keep your egg intact. But everyone else is just waiting for the hilarious moment that the egg falls off of the spoon. Spoon is the answer. Pretty much everybody getting that one right well done. We've all been to like a family reunion or a company picnic where they break out the plastic spoons. They break out the eggs. And then the eggs break out when they hit the ground. Let's move on to question number nine, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Novocaine is used for what medical purpose? Is it anti-inflammation, numbing, or appetite suppression? What is Novocaine for? I think you know. Going to the dentist is nerve-wracking. 
Going there to have work done is a whole other level, but you can at least rest easy knowing that the Novocaine they give you will numb you. That's right, numbing is the answer. 11,068 of you have made it this far, and you are ready for our final question. But before we get to that final question, a few things. One is a quick reminder that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge. That is a quick, hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. Both of those ways get you SB towards your daily goal, but that More Ways to Earn is how you reach tap joy and that tap joy wall. If you're not doing your daily tap joy, you are missing some of the best that life has to offer. Say more than thank you with Merci, delicious, carefully selected chocolate assortments made in Europe with the finest ingredients. Add Merci to your list and magic receipts, then buy one 16-count box of Merci European chocolates in-store at Walgreens and get 150 SB back when you upload a photo of your receipt. But if you buy two on the same receipt and you can never have too much chocolate, you will get 400 SB. Check that out after the game. Speaking of uh, games, tomorrow we're going to boldly go where we've only gone a few times before with another game all about Star Trek. Set your phasers to fun and join us at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. You will get three free rejoins for playing. And I want to mention one last time while I have you all here before we get to our final question. We are sending a survey out via push notification for this app. You just click the link. It will take you right to the survey. It'll take a few minutes to complete. And if you do complete it, you will get 5 SB. We're trying to find out more about what you think of the game, the time we're running it, whether you like the themes, the difficulty level, the host, everything. We want to see hear your opinion. So please be sure to click on that link and fill out that survey. All right. We got 11,145 people vying for a piece of a $1,000 grand prize. Over 18,600 of you have stuck around to the end, and there's one more bonus SB up for grabs if you can correctly answer our final question. Here's question number 10. Michael Jordan, Vince Carter, and Zach Levine have all won what NBA All-Star Weekend competition? Is it the dunk contest, the running contest, or Mr. Congeniality? What have they all won? The stars used to come out for what was the crown jewel of All-Star Weekend, but now players don't want to get hurt. And I think that's why this year's dunk contest was a real dud. Dunk contest is the answer. 9,942 of you knew that one. And you are splitting our grand prize today. Well done to you. Let's meet a few of our grand prize winners. Ichigo taking home 11 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Neon Luna, you are a winner. Christina Wicklin, you're going home with a winner. DS Caesar, Alex Bertful. And Calvin Puak, just a few of our grand prize winners. Congratulations to each of you and to those of you who got bonus SB and claim them because you have more SB in your account now than you did when the game started. That makes you a winner in my book. And now that all of you have more SB in your account, you know what to do with them when the time is right for you. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job today. We will see you tomorrow for our Star Trek game. Thank you for playing Daily Trivia Live, and we will see you then, my friends. Mm -hmm.